Hi, and welcome to this video on how to safely navigate and explore a nether fortress. Not only how to safely explore and navigate a nether fortress, but how to do it without enchantments, without potions, and in hard mode. I'm going to take you on a walk through this nether fortress. I have not explored it before. I did take a quick look and see how big it was so that it was uh, enough to be interesting. But I am going to show you not necessarily how to build a farm and get all this cool stuff. What I'm going to show you is how to survive the first exploration of a brand new nether fortress and how to make your life a little bit easier when you go back to harvest some of those materials and set up a blaze farm or do any of that kind of stuff. Now before I get going, I'm going to show you what I am all bringing on this expedition. If you take a look here, you can see I've got a sword, a pickaxe, and a shovel. And those are all diamond, of course, so that they're a little bit better, but they have no enchantments on them. I also have a bow and a selection of uh, 64 arrows. I have some wood, some cobblestone. Now, cobblestone has a particular importance here because it cannot be destroyed by a ghast. So if I do utilize it somewhere where a ghast is shooting fireballs at me, I uh, will survive the experience. Well, at least the blocks will. And then I've got a bunch of torches. I do have some redstone torches, and I'll show you what those are for. And, of course, some food. Again, no potions, no enchantments. And just to prove to you that I am actually going to do this in survival on hard mode, I will go out, and I will say hard mode, and I will go survival and this is where things start to get a little interesting so here we go now i set up on the top of this nether fortress and the first thing i'm going to do is just get this lit up so that i can clearly see what's going on close enough now one thing i like to do on all the nether fortresses i explore is to block off any places where i could walk off the edge now, depending on the texture pack you're using and the lighting setting you have, uh, it's easy to just simply walk off the edge into lava or, you know, a big fall. And so what I like to do is just do that. Uh, and, you know, and this video is really about the things I've learned from time and experience. It's up to you what you want to do and not do. Take away from this video what you want. So let's move on. Now we're really fortunate here because we have some nether wart. Uh, and for whatever reason, not a lot of it is grown yet. That's interesting. Huh. Um, but anyhow, I am going to grab a couple of these and I'm going to grab some soul sand. Now the reason I'm going to do that is so that when I get back to the surface, I can plant my own nether wart farm. However, I don't want to grab these all. I want to make sure that there are plenty in case I die and I lose all that I've grabbed. I don't want to find myself in a position of no longer having any nether wart available because I got greedy and stupid. So let's grab a little soul sand here. Grab a couple more nether wart. And that'll at least get us by. And I need to get out of here. There we go. Now, one of the biggest tricks I use, and I use this for exploring caves or um, strongholds and nether fortresses, is that I always torch on the right. Now, you can choose right or left, but always torch on the same side. The other trick I use is to always keep my right hand on the wall no matter what, because that allows you to make sure that you're going to explore every bit of this fortress without missing any, and without getting hopelessly lost and wondering, did I explore this? Didn't I explore this one? You know, I don't remember. This little trick will really help. So let's start putting torches on the right-hand wall. And we're going to keep our hand on the right-hand wall and continue on. Now, if you are looking for a totally exciting, action-packed video, this probably isn't going to be it. This video is more how to stay alive while you're doing this. If you want action, do it later. For right now, we just want to find out what's here 
get it marked, and get out safely. So when we get to an intersection like this, the first thing we want to do is peek around the corner. The reason being is you never know what's hiding there. And there's nothing. So we're safe here. And I want to check these out, but I'm not going to do it right now. The reason is right hand on the wall. And I get lazy sometimes and forget to do this, so... And we're at an intersection, we'll check real quick. And we'll go in here, right hand on the wall, nothing. All right, back out here, another intersection. All right, now even though there's stairs, still gonna keep our right hand on the wall and head down these stairs. And we have a corner, so peek around the corner, we're good. Peek around the corner. And we're good. And we've reached a dead end. Now that gives me a chance to show you another little trick I do. Not really a trick. I guess none of these are tricks. They're just suggestions on how to explore a nether fortress effectively and safely. What I'm going to do is block it off. That way I know I don't have to go back down there again wondering if I thoroughly explored it. So we'll head down here. And the good news is we've got some more nether wart. Now I can look around and I can see there are no torches, so I know this isn't the one I went to before. Now you probably saw that staircase there. I'll show you how I handle that in just a moment. We're going to leave this nether wart here. We've got an inner or a corner here, so we're going to check around that corner. And this looks to be a dead end. Now, when you see this, don't just turn around and go back the other way. What you want to do here is make sure that you've got all of the nether fortress. It's not unusual to find that the nether fortress continues on beyond here. But you can see there's no more wall, so there's no more nether fortress. So time to head back. Now when we get to this next intersection, we're going to block this off. And that brings us back to this staircase. Now, to remember that I've walked up a staircase and checked it out, I'm going to torch right up there. Now, when we get up here, look at that. We can see that there's more nether fortress over there, but there doesn't seem to be any more over here, so we're good to go. Let's cut through here. Now, you might be tempted to grab some of this quartz right away while you're here. I recommend you not do that. There's going to be plenty of time to come back and grab this nether quartz later. Now, the only exception to that is if you go down a dead end, you're going to have to decide if you grab the nether quartz down there or do you mark it and come back later. It's going to be your decision, but what you don't want to do is if you want quartz, block it off and never go back and get it. Moving on. Right hand on the wall all the time. Here around the corner, we're safe. Hey, we found a chest. Now this leads us to another question. Do we grab the stuff in the chest or do we get it later? For me, the answer is I grab it right away because like I'm kind of greedy. Oh, we got some more nether wart, a saddle and some horse armor. I'm also greedy from the standpoint that I take the chest. You're going, why don't you use your axe? Well, that's because I didn't grab one. There isn't a lot of use for an axe in the nether. So why bother having one and potentially losing it? Okay, we're going to check around this corner and we are safe. Let's take a look. Now remember what I said? There may be more nether fortress, but I can tell because it stopped here, that there isn't any more. Might go on for a little while yet, potentially. Let's find out. Yep, you can see the floor drops off here. So, yep, that's all there is to it. So, no more nether fortress. I have found big chunks of nether fortress with that little trick. So, you definitely want to check out when you reach those dead ends and make sure that it is indeed a dead end. Now, I'm not going to bother grabbing this quartz 
because I can come back and get it later. And here's how I'm going to do that. I know that this was not a dead end. All right. Actually, it was. So I'm going to mark it such that I can come back and get it later. The way I'm going to do that is use a redstone torch. Just a single redstone torch tells me that there's something down there that I want to get. All right. So we have come back. There's our torch on the right. Now when we come back, it's on the left. So we know we've explored this way already. Keep our hand on the right hand wall. Take this corner. And there's another chest. Yeah. And another dead end. Ooh, a couple of diamonds, three diamonds, and some gold armor. And we're going to take the chest too. This time we'll use our bow to break it. Because, you know, bows are great for taking chests. All right. We also discovered this is a dead end, so we'll mark it. You're starting to get an idea of how this system works, how it's possible to explore all of this. Let's see here. I got talking and confused myself. Okay, there we go. So we know this is a dead end. Right hand on the wall. There we go. See, even when you're doing this, it's easy to get confused and lost in these because they all look the same. I better check that hallway. <laughs> I could be embarrassing to die in the middle of this video. We're going to throw one right there and continue down this hallway. Now, as I'm torching here, one thing to keep in mind is that torches will drop the spawn rate of wither skeletons. So if you are looking for wither skeletons, make sure the area is dark. And this is no more fortress, so we're going to continue on. And we'll head out this way. I don't want a torch there. See what would have happened if I torched? I would have been on the left side and the right side. Bad form. Let's block that off. We know it's a dead end. And again, right hand on the wall. Let's go check this out. And this is just a dead end. Even though it's a short one, we'll mark it. Save ourselves some time later. Nothing here. Ooh, now see, that's an interesting little thing we just saw. That lava reminds me. If you see lava dripping from the ceiling, if you didn't know this, don't dig up right there. Very bad idea. Check the corner here. Boink, boink, we're good. All right, I'm going to ignore that for now, but we know there is something down there. So far, so good with the uh, with the mobs. We're doing all right here. You're not always going to get this lucky. There are going to be times you are going to run into friendly blazes and wither skeletons. And on the right wall. Still holding it on the right wall. And that's the end of the line. Oh, there we go. Let me show you something here quick. Watch this. Come on, drip again. I don't remember which block it is here. One of these has got lava above it. I don't know which one it is. Let's find out. Nope, not that one. That one. So we're going get rid of this put my life in jeopardy just to show you this there we go wait till the lava goes away but if you saw that dripped and that was right there there you can see it prime indicator so you want to be careful when you're digging now if you already knew that forgive me for telling you but a lot of the people that watch my videos 
are relatively new to the game, so I try to make sure that they're aware of some of the challenges they're going to run into in here as well. Let's see if there's anything down here. See? This is starting to look like potential. Nope. As soon as you see that end there, that's a pretty safe bet. Yep. So nothing there. We know it's a dead end. But I am going to block it off, but put a redstone torch there. Same with this one. Matter of fact, I should have done that earlier, right away, while I was thinking of it. Oh, I've got company. If you didn't figure out what just happened, I got shot by a blaze. So, now we have a choice. We can either just keep exploring, or we can deal with them. So, I'm going to show you some tricks to deal with them. One of the things you can do, there's a moment before... Okay, where did he go? How about... Hello. Oh, I see a skeleton or, or, oh, I, I think I saw a sword there. So that would be a zombie pigment. Ah, I don't know where he went. So we're going to continue on. Do some more exploring. I'm sure we'll find him again. He's out there yet. Check this out. And nothing. I'm not having much luck in that department, but trust me, it happens where you're very glad that you check those walls. And we'll mark this. And continue on. That blaze is hiding somewhere. I know he is. Where the blaze is, is he? <laughs> Sorry. Couldn't resist. I'll be honest. Blazes don't worry me too much. Wither skeletons, on the other hand, those worry me. All right. Now, I'm going to show you how I uh, let myself know that I have explored up a staircase like this one. I just put a torch right on the staircase. Continue up here. And there's nothing up here. All right. So we'll continue down here. Oh, good. I get to show you something else here. Oh, no. I thought there was an intersection up here. Hopefully we'll get some intersections and I can show you how to manage those. Now, when you get out on these bridges like this, this is a great place to hunt withers, uh, or wither skeletons, I should say. And as you know, you need wither skeleton skulls in order to spawn the wither. And I have uh, videos out there that'll teach you how to safely spawn a wither as well. I'm going to throw a torch on here just in case. All right. So make sure you check out my other videos if you're looking for information on how to safely manage a wither. Is there any... Nope, I didn't see any quartz. So we can just block this one off. Nope, no quartz. And this is a dead end here. Make sure our blaze isn't chasing us. And continue. See, Doja wasn't overly exciting, but look at what you're learning along the way. Put in all these little tricks of the trade. I've been playing this game for about five years. Absolutely love it. Um, and I have definitely learned some stuff in that time about how to manage some of this stuff. And I found one of the ways to stay alive is to take your time. And that's the dead end. Now I am going to block this off just in case so I don't walk off the end at some point. I don't foresee that being a problem since I'm going to block it off up here as well, but you never know. And let's see what's down here. 
Oh, blaze spawner. Found a blaze spawner. All right. I want to show you something special here. I'm going to mark this blaze spawner. And I'm going to do it in a couple of ways. I'm going to go here. And I am going to create an arrow. Now, if you take a look, this triangular shape here forms an arrow that points up this hallway. And I know there's a blaze spawner up there. Now I'm going to go back to this intersection and mark my blaze spawner. All right? That'll make it a lot easier to find this when the time comes. So we have a couple of options. We can just run past this like this and move on to explore. Or we can go uh, grab a couple of blaze rods while it gets good. Now I'm really not set for major combat here. But I'll show you a couple tricks here. One is to use the corners like this. Now you're going to still get hit occasionally like that, but you stand a much, much lower chance of getting hit. Now one thing you'll see is that the blaze will like prepare to fire. They're going to flame up right before they fire. Even though this texture pack looks different, the fact of the matter is they still flame before they fire. Just like that. And if you notice, they're not coming after me. If they can't see me, they're typically not going to bother with me. The only way one's going to come down here is if he just comes down randomly. So that gives me an opportunity to come back, heal, whoops, <laughs> and lay some torches down. Come back, heal, and get a couple more shots in. You're a good shot today, man. Heal up here quick. Eat some more food. Definitely, if you're going to do it like this on hard mode, make sure you stay fed. There's going to be a lot because I'm like right here and they're going to continue to spawn. Good thing I brought a bunch of uh, arrows with me, huh? Alright. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, let's grab these blaze rods quick. Run away! Run away! Run away! Alright. How many blaze rods did we grab? Two! Oh, good enough. We can make a brewing stand. We're going to call it quits there and move on. Make sure you stay healed. There's nothing worse than dying because you forgot to stay healed. Whoa, look at that. A couple more. Ah, right in the face, you little demon. Ah, Take a couple more hearts of this, but not much. Uh, run away, run away, run away. Need to heal. Like I said, it's going to be really embarrassing if I die in the middle of this. So, I'll show you another trick. Or a tip more. There's no place to hide. Make a place to hide. Just like that. I can see there's more fortress there that I want to explore. Best to eat quick.
He just doesn't want to die, does he? Well, I guess I have to actually hit him first, don't I? There he's gone. Now, my guess is that there is a blaze spawner there. Let's get that blocked up. So we can proceed safely here. Like I said, I am going to assume there are some blaze rods here. Or a blaze pointer here. Nope, they just kind of, there might be one above here somewhere. I'm not seeing one. There's lava right there. And a dead end. Now see how this was kind of camouflaged here? I could have easily walked off the end. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen. And we do have some quartz down here. So let's get rid of this. Now you could leave it there, definitely. But I find it easier to just clean up after myself. Now, if you remember, there's, because of our arrow, our blaze spawner is right there. We're going to mark this, though, because there is some quartz to go after. And we're just going to make a run for it. Around the corner. That's the sound it makes when you go around the corner. And let's continue to explore. This is a good-sized nether fortress. Oh, I see a blaze down there. See if we can get him before he sees us. Nope. Let's get a little protection built here. Zoom! You know, he charges up before he fires the fireballs at me. Oh, didn't get back fast enough. We'll get him. We'll get him. You shall not defeat me, blaze scum. Okay, my... Accuracy here blows. Look at that, or he's really juking me. Can we get him? Nope. Alright, enough of this silliness. There we go. We got him. Okay, you can see the other place where we came out before. Now this is a prime location right here for wither skeletons. And I will show you real quick what you can do with the wither skeletons. So we're gonna block these off so we don't walk off the end at some point. I'm gonna block these off out here. So again, we have that good wither skeleton point. This isn't wonderful, but it is a spot where they will spawn. So far, we haven't seen a single one, which is really surprising. Now, since these spots are great for wither skeletons, let's build a little place where we can safely run to to hunt them. It's good just to have these, but these work really good for simply hunting withers. What this is, is a little hiding spot that takes advantage of the fact that a wither skeleton, sorry, I always call them withers instead of just wither skeletons, but they are taller than two blocks. So they can't get underneath here. So what you can do when they come up running after you, you just kill them right next to this. Since we have that one there, I'm not going to put another one here, but you get the idea. Got some glowstone here. I do not have my silk, to <laughs> silk touch pickaxe. So I'm not going to harvest that quite yet. Clean up my mess here. Uh, 
Now we have several things that are of interest down here, so we're going to mark this with a redstone torch. Just like that. And we're going to remember our blaze spawner is there, so we're not going to hang out too much in plain sight. And check out these stairs. Now remember, put one on there. Make sure there's nothing hiding up here. And there is nothing. I am going to check this spot right there. Nothing there. And there we go. Now remember, right hand on the wall. Check this spot. Oh, that has potential. Let's see what that is. Oh, that cuts through to the other hallway there. All right. Zoom around here. Now this has all been marked on the left, so we're not going to mark it on the right. So we don't want to duplicate our marks. All right. Onward. Let's take a look here. Nothing down there. Oh, blaze right around the corner. I'll show you a trick for getting blazes. Bonsai! And there's a spawner right there. So we'll run back here. That's really not a trick for getting them. That's a really bad idea, but I had to do it. So let's uh, let's get these guys taken care of. This is cool that we have two blaze spawners. Oop! Took a shot again. Heal up quick. Come on. Now remember, this isn't an enchanted bow, so it's a little slower at getting to these guys. All right, let's grab this XP. Run away, run away, run away. Ah, there we go. All right, we are going to mark this as a blaze spawner. And move ahead. Blah! All right, check this, nothing there. So we know it's a dead end. And we'll run down the hall. Oh, none of them are following us. Onward! And by now you should be getting the idea of what we do when we get to one of these. So nothing here, unless you want to go after that. And we've got some quartz here, so we'll mark that. Don't forget that blaze spawner is there. This is already marked, so that means we've been down this hallway already. See how this works? It really helps you understand where you are in the fortress, what you've seen, what you haven't seen. I'm going to stop kind of telling you everything I'm doing, because hopefully you figured out a lot of the common stuff by now. Yeah, this has potential. See where it goes. Oh, maybe not. Oh, that's disappointing. All right. Onward. And we know this is a dead end. Now you're probably thinking, oh, why doesn't he just end this then? There's nothing more. You would be surprised at how much you can find when you think you've finished up the whole thing. I've had several times where, I should say more than several, many, many times, where I think I've finished up and I haven't. 
a good time to check for a gas since I'm out in the open here. It's not too hard to get blown right off. Now what I'm going to do is something a little unusual with this. I want to make sure that this isn't a separate section. Nope, Ben here. So we'll just block this up. And since there is quartz there, I'll block that off so we can get to it later. And to move on. So we know this is a dead end. We'll mark it for the quartz. Around here, it's already marked on the right. And we'll check here, nothing. All right. So, mark that as a dead end. Move on. Don't think this is anything, but I'm going to check it nonetheless just to make myself feel better. Yeah, just a dead end. And no need to torch here. That's where we came in. And no more there. No more there. I have a feeling we're wrapping this thing up. You start seeing a lot of hallways like this that you've already explored. Pretty safe bet you might be done. Let's grab a mushroom. There we go. Let's grab some more. See what I did there? Ran around that corner without looking first. That's a good way to die. All right, let's make sure we already went down here. What's out here? Let's find out. Just a dead end. I'll go back up the staircase here. And we are back at the beginning. And there we go. So we made it through the entire fortress. No potions. No enchantments. On hard mode. Did not die. And uh, took some booty with us. Got the whole place explored, marked where everything is. We are good to go. So hopefully you found this video helpful and it'll keep you alive next time you go to explore another fortress. If you die, then it wasn't my fault. I wish we had seen a wither skeleton, but no such luck. Let's get this guy quick. We'll, we'll wrap on a high note here. Where is he? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? He despawned. That's no fun. Ah, oh, he despawned. Oh well. Anyhow, uh, as I was saying, if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share it. And if you didn't like this video, please keep it to yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.